so wanted to talk a little bit about your your editing as well yeah. when you've edited this cool children's book in uh, Captain Candy. Yeah, yeah, it's um, written by Ryan Letter, and that came out. Uh, well, he, Ryan's probably twenty now, but yeah, I mean back then he was he was ten years old. And <laughs> his uh, his dad hired me to kind of oversee this project. We actually did a sequel too that um, Rafael Navarro drew, but it, it's, it never came out. So, but yeah. That's awesome. What was the what, how did this kind of come to be? Uh, it was a friend of Carol's that she um, did work with at I mean, she used to work at Spectrum Health Clubs and mm-hmm. did, like in the marketing department. And um, he had a company and you know was telling her about his son's uh, you know ideas and mm-hmm. she's like, oh, you should meet my husband and you know he can he can help it happen and I, I got paid really well for that. <laughs> so it's it's good when he so. You know, we Omar, we like lose so much money making our first of comics course. and stuff. Um, but when you step back and look at it, it's like if I didn't make Mac Afro, you know, I wouldn't have been in the situation where I met Carol even. But um, I would have not been able to, you know, build those skills. You know, and and so when an opportunity does come along like this or Star Trek, you know, you've proven that you can do it. So it's just a matter of scoring the gig, landing mm-hmm. the job. So yes, I did lose probably 20 grand putting out Mac Afro with, with the dumb mistakes I made. Yeah. But, you know, this was, I think, $5,000. Mac Afro has been optioned a few times. Um, the job I have at Otis is mm-hmm. because, you know, I took that first step. Yeah. So, yeah. So you wouldn't consider, like, you going through that first experience of failure, even though at the time it was all a learning curve for you to kind of yeah. grow and, and kind of... And a learning curve to my bank account. But <laughs> yeah, no, I mean... Now I know. I, I put out a book now. I don't lose money anymore. Yeah. You know, I, I do it a different way. Because yeah. you have a different, you have experience under your belt, and you also have a loyal fan base now. Some, yeah. <laughs> yeah I <think> so. <laughs> I consider myself one of them. Aw, so. shucks, man. Thank you. I was there from, from issue one of Guns A-Blazing all the way through. So. You were, huh? Yeah. Yeah. 